My role as CEO of Whistles, um, it's quite hard to describe. I suppose um, I am responsible for, in a sense, creating the aesthetic direction of the brand and then protecting that and making sure that we're all of us kind of driving in the same direction. How do we know what women want to wear? Um, it's a really difficult question and I don't think, um, I don't think there's a simple answer to it. Um, it sounds very cliched to say that it's instinctive or it's intuitive, but I think it is. But I think also you've got to be very, very observant. You have to want to watch women and, and, and look at them and sort of study them and, and see how they buy, see how, how they put things together. We all have days where you just feel just right, you know, you just feel comfortable, you feel relaxed, you don't feel overdone and I, and I think it's kind of trying to capture those feelings. Fashion is, is a really emotional thing, there's very little logic involved in it um, and I think once you accept that it's easier to sort of um, recognise what it is that women are going to want. There's a, a new shape coming through, which is the sort of, I don't know, call it the Bermuda short or the shorter culotte. It's a very new silhouette. You know, we, we've certainly had a lot of shorts around, but they've all been the very, very short hot pants. So, so this time it's, it's a longer, more Bermuda type short. Fantastic for, for our customer because, you know, our customers are, are generally buying to, to go to work and then to go out in the evening. And it does both. In a way, I'm really encouraged to see that almost feminism has stopped being a dirty word, which I think it has been for a long time. And people are starting now to em embrace it and start to question why we're not treated equally. The fashion industry is an interesting one because it is 80%, in the total industry, 80% of the people working there are women. On board level, it's less than 10% still, which is a shocking statistic, it really is. I think a lot of the, the problem is, is that women just don't see themselves as getting there. And I think perhaps we need to be saying to women, you know what, you can do it, you know, you really can do it. You have to persevere. And I think a lot of women are just put, oh look, the board's all a load of guys, why would I even bother? There's no point. Some women are going to have to sort of say, well, you know what, sod them, I'm going to get there. I'm really energetic and love to do loads of different things and this job has allowed me to do them, so it's fantastic. And every Friday night I, I do a flying trapeze class. And, uh, and it's, you know, it's just, you cannot think about anything else when you're on the flying trapeze, obviously, because otherwise you're going to fall off. Um, and things like that, uh, uh, you need that. You really, really need that. You need stuff that just takes you out of yourself completely.